Shortcuts, the most powerful app on your iPhone you didn't know existed. Most users glance at this app and never look back, but they don't know the power they are missing out on. Hey everyone, I'm Ashif with Softorino and today we're going to take a brief look at the basics of your Shortcuts app. To give you a quick understanding of what we're about to do, check out how cool this is. There's this thing called Google Lens and to use it, you first need to launch the Google app, then click Lens. You might think, let's use Siri, maybe she can launch right into it, right? Well, no. When we ask Siri, she just searches the web. So instead, we can create a shortcut, name it Google Lens, and now when we ask Siri to open Google Lens, she launches right into this feature. This is just one small part of what the Shortcuts app can do, and it's only going to get more powerful from here, so let's dive in. And if you want to skip around to different parts of this video, make sure you use these timestamps, and let's get to it. When you first open the app on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac, you're greeted with a handful of pre-made shortcuts. These can range from the basic Google Lens launcher like you just saw, to complex shortcuts that takes a series of photos from your library and creates a time lapse for you. And if you have the aptitude, you can even create shortcuts that utilize programming to do some seriously crazy custom tasks. To continue with the basics, we also have automations at the bottom. Automations are things your device will automatically do based on certain criteria. Like on my iPhone, when I connect to a Wi-Fi network, my data automatically turns off. Then when I no longer have this Wi-Fi network, my data will come back on. This saves me battery and makes sure I'm not glued to the charger for no reason. But automations can go so much further. You can automate your Philips Hue light bulbs to automatically turn on when you come home, or automate your car's climate control to start prepping the ride a few minutes before you have to leave for work. We'll look at creating shortcuts and automations after we finish checking out everything that this app comes pre-built with. Speaking of pre-built things in this app, we have the gallery. In this tab, you'll find a ton of pre-made shortcuts by Apple. There's something for everyone, and it's definitely worth checking out to find something you'll enjoy using. You're also able to check out how the pre-made shortcuts are made, so you can use those ideas to fuel your own creativity. And lastly, before we start creating shortcuts, head over to that left menu and check out all of your apps. The more apps you have downloaded, the more you'll see here. So earlier, we saw Google Lens, and if we click on Google, you'll find Lens here. There's also your Tesla controls, Philips Hue light bulb controls, and whatever other apps you have, they'll show up here as long as they support shortcuts. Cool, now we're ready to build our first shortcut. To build a shortcut, make sure you're in the shortcuts tab at the bottom. Then press the plus sign at the top right. This is an empty slate for you to work with. Let's create a shortcut for our drive to school. In this shortcut, we want our phone to pull up driving directions to our university and to start playing music automatically using our car speaker. For the directions, we want to search map, then select open directions. This is an action inside of your shortcut. Some actions require extra steps to set up, like for this shortcut that gives us directions to our university, we need to let it know our university's address. And now if we run this shortcut as is with this play button at the bottom, you'll see that it launches into maps and automatically sets directions to university from our current location. But we're not done yet. We want this to also automatically start playing music when we're ready to drive. So let's add in a music action. But if we leave it as is, this shortcut will start playing music from our iPhone speaker and that's not how we listen to music in a car. So we need to tell this shortcut to select a different playback device. So open the actions, find the media tab, and look for change playback destination. And since we need this shortcut to choose a playback destination before our music starts playing, we'll go ahead and drag this on top of music. Shortcuts work from top to bottom. Let's make sure our playback destination is set correctly by switching it away from our iPhone. If you don't see your car's Bluetooth here, make sure you're actually connected to your car and then you'll be able to select it in this menu. Now the shortcut is ready to use. But if we change its name from drive to school, we can actually tell Siri, hey Siri, drive to school, and she'll instantly launch this shortcut. Check this out. Hey Siri, drive to school. Boom, maps open, music's playing. Now let's check out automations. These are really awesome. At the start of this video, I mentioned I have an automation that turns off my data when I'm home and connected to a Wi-Fi network, and then when I head outside and I don't have a Wi-Fi network, my data comes back on. Let's see how we create that. Go to your Automations tab and press the plus sign. Look for Wi-Fi. Select the networks you want. So that might be your home and work Wi-Fi networks. Select Joined and make sure Run Immediately is checked and press Next. 
Now you want to tell this automation what to do when you join any of these networks. We want our data to turn off. And that's it. Now when your iPhone connects to these networks, your data will turn off. I also like to create a second automation that's the opposite. So when I disconnect from any of these networks, my data will turn on. That way I'm not fiddling around with the data, it's all automatic. Cool, let me show you another awesome automation. Remember that shortcut we made earlier for our drive to school? We can actually have that shortcut automatically launch every time we get into our car. Create an automation with the plus sign, press Bluetooth, and find your car. Your car has to be on when you're doing this to see it here. Then we can add in that shortcut. Since we already made it, you'll see it under my shortcuts tab. But this can get a little wonky because you don't just use your car to go to university. You might be going out for breakfast or going out for a night out. That brings us to more advanced automations. We're going to use a script to make sure our iPhone knows the correct times to use this shortcut. This script will make sure that it only launches on certain days when we're actually expecting to go to university. So let's create that automation. Set it to your car's Bluetooth, but this time create a new automation. The idea here is that if it's a weekday and if it's between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. when we're leaving for school, then we want our iPhone to pull up directions, connect to our car speaker and start playing music. So we're gonna have to work on those if scripts. So let's head into scripts and select if. Press on the condition and select current date. Since we're getting advanced here, go down to format and change that to custom. Change that bottom area to say E E E E. That's four E's. This gives our date format as Monday, Tuesday, and so on. Now we have to make this if statement say if it is not Saturday and if it is not Sunday because we don't go to school on those days. So type in Saturday and then create a new condition, do the same date format thing, place in the four E's, and now this one make it say if it is not Sunday. Cool, now this won't launch on Saturdays and Sundays, but we need to make sure that this only launches in the morning when we're headed out specifically to school. So we need it to say if it's between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. So add another condition. Select current date and change it to time. Select is between and place in the hours you expect to leave home for school. So far we have if it is not Saturday and if it is not Sunday and now we have if it is between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. Make sure the very top says if all are true. Now go ahead and create that shortcut for driving to school from our current location. Set playback destination to our car's audio and play music. This automation will launch as soon as you start your car and your phone connects to the Bluetooth. Before it does anything, it's gonna make sure it's not the weekend, so not Saturday and Sunday, and it's gonna make sure it's 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in the morning. So if you're going out for groceries in the middle of the day, it's not gonna give you direction to your school. And that's how we make awesome automations without needing too much knowledge on programming. And if you do know programming or you just like to dig around in the Shortcuts app, I know you can make a lot more than just this. But why don't we take a look at some really basic but awesome shortcuts. First, let's check out custom icons. You can use shortcuts to change app icons. Just create a new shortcut, add the action open app and select the app you want, rename the shortcut to the app's name or a different name and change the icon. Now press shortcut details and add it to your home screen. Now you can use the shortcut to launch the app and it has a custom name and icon. If you don't like the way folders look on your home screen, you can create a shortcut that brings up a menu full of your apps. Create a new shortcut, search for the action, choose from menu, and add in all the apps you want. I'll go ahead and make this for Instagram, TikTok, Threads, Reddit, and YouTube. Now for each of these sections, add in the action open app and select the appropriate app. Rename the shortcut whatever you want and add a custom icon. Now add it to your home screen. Now you have this cool menu instead of a boring folder like all other iPhone users. And you can use this menu system for anything. Use it to change focus without going into control center. The sky's the limit. You just have to get creative. This one's really awesome. If you have an iPhone without the new Apple intelligence stuff, you can still use ChatGPT with Siri. You just need to create a shortcut and search for the action ChatGPT, then select voice mode and you're set. Rename this shortcut to what your trigger word should be. I like to keep mine as ChatGPT. And now I say, hey Siri, ChatGPT, 
and she instantly launches into voice mode inside of ChatGPT. You can do this with other apps as well, like Google Lens we saw at the very beginning, and you can even make shortcuts to change your car's climate control through your phone app if you have something like a Tesla. And use it with your home kit if you have smart home devices or if you have Philips Hue light bulbs, you can also make your shortcuts do all that. The world is truly your oyster when you learn the shortcuts app. There's so much to discover and it opens so many doors you probably didn't know existed. Definitely make sure you check out all those basic things we talked about because you don't need to know programming to make some serious use out of this shortcuts app. That was just the basics and an introduction to the shortcuts app and I highly suggest you check this out and just get creative. And that's all for this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you leave us a like, comment down below if you want to see something specific like specific shortcut ideas you have and subscribe because we post tons of awesome Apple tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Soft Torino, tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.